Oh my God, it's finally here. Hello, uh, my name is Shovel Claws, and this is Spark the Electric Jester 3. I know it's early morning on a Friday, but this game is not an early morning game. It's gonna go fast. I like to pitch this as uh, Celeste in 3D if it were any good. Um, but <laughs> uh, with me, I have two wonderful commentators. Uh, first, joining me is Say, say your line. Oh, What's up, guys? It is your boy, the Mimi. So everyone in the crowd, I'm looking for a new commentator. <laughs> and, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm a Spark the Electric Jester 3 mod and I also do IELTS and that's pretty much it. Love this guy. Um, I'm going to be ragging on him so much, but I love you. Thank you for joining <laughs> me. Joining us also in person. Hey guys, I'm Jedi. I'm an IL runner for this game. Very excited to showcase it to y'all. Yeah, uh, cute little guy. Um, but yeah, uh, this game is, is incredible. Um, I am blown away. Uh, one, for the support. Hello, Back Couch. Thank you all so much. Um, and for two, just how excited I am. Oh, God, it's so, it's finally here. Yeah. I've been waiting for this for months. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump into the game. This is uh, first. We're on a new file, platforming difficulty normal, normal. it makes things easier, weirdly. And combat difficulty easy, because I'm bad at combat, uh, don't worry about it. And time will begin on the A press here. So in three, three two, two, one, one. get dashy, go. let's go. <laughs> um, so every amazing platformer starts with their amazing first stage. Mario has 1-1, one one. you know, SA2 has City Escape. Spark the Electric Chester 3 is no different, because we get a car. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what what's up with this one, but uh, just to go over car controls real fast, you can boost, you can drift, and you can accelerate. Incredible. If you drift, you get a small boost, and otherwise, we're just trying to maximize our speed. I want to go around 325. But let's go ahead and get a few early bird donations in. I know we're running towards that incentive. I want to see that get met, guys. There's some incredible, unique tech in that incentive that you won't get to see in, uh, in any percent. So you want to get all stages, I tr promise me, that we'll hit it. But yeah, Joker, you have about uh, 30 seconds. Yeah, not a problem. I'm just, I just want to say, seeing this stage, I feel like I've been in this place before. I'm getting some deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> That's we, good. We have $5 from Nomads for Real who says, let's see that all levels showcase for Electric Jester 3. Go, Twitch chat, go. And we also have $250 from John who just says, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love Billy Hatcher. Good morning. Oh, God, <laughs> this is where it starts, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't distract it, drive. I ran into a wall there. Don't worry about it. Uh, anyways, now that Spark's out of the car, Thank God, this level actually is rough to begin with. Um, now we get a bunch of basic platformer moves. We can jump, we can double jump, we can dash in mid air, and we can charge up that dash for basically a spin, uh, a, what's the sonic move? Spin dash, thank you. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that. I run, I run Sonic Adventure 1. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, I was like, it's fine. wait. Um, but yeah, he has a bunch of basic moves. Um, a lot of people compare this game to Sonic. Uh, early on, I want to say, I think this game lives on its own merits. It's great. Uh, go play this game. We'll be chilling a lot. Um, but we're going to go into our first stage here, Double Moon Villa. In this game, Sparks out, uh, starts out actually relatively weak compared to what he could be. So we have to get a bunch of these little guys. Uh, these are called bits. They're an in-game currency. Uh, Twitch chat. I'm sure you're you're gonna do the bit. Let's get, get some bits going for uh for Prevent Cancer Foundation this morning. Um, but yeah, bits are going to be our in-game currency, and we can buy a bunch of upgrades in the shop in-game afterwards. Uh, once we're done here, I have a route here that gives us about 900. But I'm sure you guys are seeing all this sick movement and wondering what the heck is that? Uh, that is called a magnet dash. Magnet dashing, I'm going to actually hit this one first before I explain. Let's go! Uh, <laughs> magnet dashing is um, a basically homing attack cancel. I hate calling it that, but it's the most technical, most accurate way to explain it simply. Yeah. You homing attack something and then you use that air dash move I mentioned in order to go real fast. No, uh, I got greedy, uh, but that's okay. We know our backups here at Sparkland because if we didn't, we'd be so screwed. <laughs> so yeah, if you're a frontier runner, 
Just don't say the gritty, please. <laughs> don't. We, <laughs> me and Mimic, we're gritty. We're anti-gritty in this uh, in this run. But yeah. Oh my God, I can't get any heights. Spark, please cooperate. All right. Oh my God, please. <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Um, don't clap for that. Come on. <laughs> Come on right uh, oh my God, I was going up the wrong building. Double Moon is treating me badly. It's okay, this is not the worst this stage has gone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what you're also going to see a lot in this stage is um, the Exhausted Magnet Dash. Exhausted Magnet Dashes are really uh, cool angular magnet dashes where uh, we use Spark's single air dash mid-air, and then we do a magnet dash. That prevents him from doing that little straightforward uh, dash move that we uh, you see in the mid-air every time you dash and makes him uh, kind of just shoot up if we're, uh, we're in the right angle, um, or shoot down if we want to. Um, but yeah, I have about 900 bits now, so we're gonna go to the shop. Get your bags ready. <laughs> Yeah, there's a cutscene. Get out of here. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're, we're in the shop now, so. Yippee! Alright. Jedi, what, what did we all just buy there? So, the main things we just bought, we've got Jester Swipes and Energy Dashes. These Jester Swipes, we're going to be able to gain a lot of speed on a trail of bits, as you'll see several times at the beginning of this next stage. Uh, you can think of it kind of like a light dash, but a lot more controlled in a very specific area, such as that. And we can also jump off of them to gain height, as we just did there. And these Energy Dashes, at the press of a button, we can just go really fast, gain a lot of speed, and you'll see a lot more of this throughout the whole run, but you can also use them in a Magnet Dash, to do what we call a Hyper Dash, to gain way more speed. We got a sub-15 there. Uh, so, chat, that's personally my favorite stage. I want you to donate $14.92, or something close, uh, <laughs> in order to uh, honor that stage, because that stage's movement is really rough. That one's one of the hardest stages in the run. It's the second, or it's the third stage for a reason. Uh, but tell me your favorite stage in this game, or your favorite song in this game. Both of those get a lot of, a lot of love. So let me know in a donation. I want to, I want to hear it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go into cold, dry desert. Now. Yo, cold, dry desert. I grinded <laughs> that stage so much, and I'm it's sorry. bad. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> the IL strat is annoying. <laughs> so we're gonna explain more strats now. So oh my god, <laughs> whatever. You have uh, the um, finger gun where we're going to use them to destroy enemies. And with that, we're going to get some energy that we're going to use for the energy dash that we're using right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finger gun is really useful to destroy enemies without a homing attack. Because uh, homing attacks slow us down and magnet dashes don't kill enemies. It's really useful. Um, but next, we're going to go into gesture dash. This gesture dash tutorial is where we're going to see our first of many hyper dashes. I'll let this one hopefully speak for your, itself if we uh, hit it. This one stage is mean to me in my, uh, my attempts always. But we'll see. Ah, come on. Uh, so you can kind of get the gist here, so I'm going to explain it while I hopefully hit it. Oh my god. Uh, OK, this, this stage is being mean to me, unfortunately. Uh, Honestly, expected because oh my god, this stage is it's, the amount of like reset cycles I get into this stage is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, this is a hyper dash. Hyper dashing is kind of the same thing as magnet dashing, where um, cool back up here, let's go. Yep. Uh, hyper dashing is kind of the same thing as magnet dashing, except cranked to 11. Uh, hyper dashing uses that energy dash move we were talking about that gives you an instant burst of speed, and that allows us to homing attack cancel with the hype uh, the energy dash in order to go flying. It's awesome. It's gonna be um, mostly used in this uh, in this game in every single stage. <laughs> it's, it's gonna show up somewhere, um, including this one where. We get to see our first metal collecting stage. These stages want us to collect these blue coins, and in this stage in particular, and some of the later uh, coin collecting stages as well, we're gonna, going to be collecting more bits, because we want to be at about 700 here. If I more spark, can you homing attack things, please? I pressed the button, I promise. Uh, but yeah, um, 
But I think we have time for another one, maybe two donuts here while we just finish up this uh, stage's round. Yeah, absolutely. I do want to mention we are just under $800 away from hitting that all-level oh. showcase. I blinked and we hit yeah. over $1,000 there. <laughs> Uh, thanks to help from from donations like this one, uh, $150 from All Rightness. Oh, Ness. I adding you. to the incentive for all levels. Good luck to Shovel Claws on the run. Show him everything amazing about this game, less than three. Heck yeah. He's from the Bomb Rush community, which if you saw that run last night, I'm sorry for my actions. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I've spread the gospel wide and far, trust me. Um, I'm normal about this game. Uh, I remembered. Sure? Wow, I remembered. <laughs> you, oh, you remembered? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. So we're gonna see a new move in this uh, in this stage, Jedi. Jedi, if you wanna take the wheel. So now we're gonna do what's called a dash jump. So basically, right before you jump, either on the ground or in midair for your second jump, you can dash, and you'll get a lot more height. And we can use that to skip some platforms that normally you would have to do without this tech. Um, it's very useful in a lot of stages, but this one has a very good example coming up of it where you can just kind of skip an entire ramp that's very slow. It doesn't necessarily look like it'll be slow, but it's very slow. <laughs> Trust so us. right here, we dash to gain a lot more height, and as you see, we just totally skip that ramp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just a quick uh, left trigger and jump. Or right trigger. I know my left for my right, I promise. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, with that, we're going into the next stage, slope jumping. This one teaches you that you can jump on slopes to go higher. So this is a great time for more donations. Well, we have plenty of them coming in. All of the love coming in here, Shovel Claws. We've got $50 from Artsy Chris, who says, Has a, have a great run. Thank you. We also have $20 from Squish. Hi, Squish. Yo. Yo, that's a world record holder. Let's go. They say, wish I could be here in person to support my chesties, but I know everyone is doing a fantastic job. Glad to see all the work Shovel Claws has put in to support this fantastic game is paying off. Good luck on the run. Thank you so much, Squish. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'm going to get this out of the way early. That guy has won an EVO main stage tournament, and that's not a joke. Um, and somehow he just holds world record in this game. I don't understand. Uh, there is... <laughs> Actually, no, I do understand because yeah, of what's coming up. There's the grind. Wow. That's the grind. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> in this next stage, we're going to go to the shop real fast, buy some more uh, stuff that you'll see in the, the next mainline stage. Uh, how this how this game breaks up stages is you have one main stage and then a bunch of side stages. You have to beat those side stages to progress, uh, and that's where the all stages thing comes in because we skip six stages. Anyways, uh, quick rundown. Um, this is the first boss of the game. This game has Devil May Cry style combat. I haven't mentioned yet. And this is why the world record holder is an EVO world champion. Because, oh my god, this combat is actually saucy. We have uh, a heavy and light attack, and we can uh, cancel it with each of our animations. So you'll see me dashing a lot into this Helmbreaker move twice, which brings up our combo meter. Combo meter is just a base uh, attack damage multiplier, and we want it to be at 1.9x as much as possible. I think, ah, oh, he hit me, what the hell? Uh, but I think technically it's higher in the game's code, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, you'll see me uh, mostly use Helmbreaker there, that com air aerial combo mixed in with other moves. Uh, wow, that's an amazing song yeah. for me. Um, and uh, combat in this game is really cool. You can juggle enemies, you can toss them around the stage. It's so awesome. Honestly, you know what? That was so easy. I think we're going to go to the hardest difficulty yeah, for this next stage. Should be good. I think I can handle it. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Really, this won't go wrong. No, I'm. I mean, you saw what I did to Saw Man. I violated that man. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I can, I can handle it, trust me. Yeah. All right. Trust. <laughs> so this is one of my personal favorite stages. It's basically just a super long stage with a lot of rails that we skip about half of, but it's a great time to introduce this game's very cool rail mechanics. So the core is there's these two abilities. There's rail boosting and region breaking, and we switch between the two to gain a lot of speed on rails. Basically, the rail boosting is you can hold down the dash button and just get a lot of speed at the cost of energy and then you can break to regen that energy. And if you do it back and forth, you get a lot of speed and it's really cool. And then additionally, you can crouch on downhills to gain extra speed. And yes. I don't know, I just, I love this game's rail mechanics. It's very fluid and it feels great when you hit the mechanics. Yes, oh my God, I'm so happy we got that. 
And then additionally, right there, you can see we did a rail swipe, which is the same thing as a jump swipe before, but normally you can't actually swipe on a rail, but we can get past that by just jumping so that the game doesn't think we're on the rail. And then we get put right back on the rail and get a bunch of extra speed in the tree. I played that so risky! <laughs> <laughs> that was so beautiful there. Oh, this and game is so sick. We're also using some down dashes, which you gain instant downward momentum without losing any of your forward momentum, which is a very cool mechanic in this game. In every game. No! <laughs> I am so far back now. <laughs> no! Okay, well. I have never missed that down dash like that before. I probably have during Niall, but ah, oh, that's so unlucky. Well, it's okay. Um, while I get back to where we were, honestly, I think great time for some donos. Why? Well, well, we've got so many of them coming in, Claus. We've got twenty-five dollars from Corundum Core. Hey, Super Claus, greetings from the back. Everyone couch. point. Everyone point. So excited to see you run Spark Three this event. Good luck on the run and. Let's go, bingo! Let's go, bingo! Let's go, bingo! <laughs> There's a hive mind on the back couch. Um, but yeah. Oh. One more. Oh, wait. We've got $25 from Talky Pup. Buy Spark 3 and support your favorite indie devs. And make sure to support PCF2, of course. Thank you, Ed. Uh, We can fit probably two more. I'll get back. Okay. $50 from Nux Tenma. More GDQ, more Spark, more Shovel Claws. Less than three. And $10 from Naomi. Hi, Shovel Claws. Naomi here. Enjoying the run and vibe. Thank you so much for being a great help during this event and being a pretty cool person. Go crush this run. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Naomi and I had a wonderful Twitter, Twitter interaction. The first good Twitter interaction. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she's awesome. Uh, go watch Here Comes Nico from earlier this week. Uh, man, that death was so unfortunate because yeah. that was such a clean reveal. Otherwise, that stage is like easily one of the hardest in the run. So I'm not, mm. I'm not too sad. Uh, I mean, more donos either way. Um, but yeah, I mean, now we have the guardian. This boss is relatively easy, so I should be okay. Yeah. Just barely mistimed it. No, ah, oh, it's uh, too early. Okay, well, well, wait, one more chance. No. Okay, I don't think I could block that move. So. Still issue. Well, that's me. <laughs> um, okay, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's a wise idea to turn down challenge, yeah. uh, turn up my difficulty. I noticed during that stage, I was at one health the whole time. It was yeah. scary. Um, okay. Stick to easy. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. You know, no one's gonna know. All right, next up is this stage. I don't know why it's called wall walking, but it's really cool if done well. Let me cook. Ah, I ran into the wall uh, there, but unfortunately, uh, either way, I mean, a 20, 21 is pretty good. Yeah. Um, you saw you saw the gist. If I carried my speed there, you'd be able to just jump to the goal across. Um, yeah, that stage is called wall walking for some reason. It's really fast. It's one of the fastest in the run. It's fine. Um, but yeah, you can wall, uh, run on walls by holding the trigger against a wall. Um, this runs PG-13. Don't make a joke. Uh, <laughs> but this is another coin collection stage where we're going to uh, just go around, collect some more bits and some more uh, coins. Is there anything we, we had to mention here? I mean, this has been rerouted a lot, so I'm sure we could talk about that song. Um, yeah, I mean, other than just a bunch of reroutes, the stage is fairly simple. It used to be very annoying, now it's slightly less annoying. Cool wall run there. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, I'm okay with this because this song is a jammer. This yeah. is like one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. What do you mean he hit me? Oh, well, okay, now he's just being me. Can I give a quick update on uh, the showcase? Uh, absolutely. We are so, so, so close, chat. We are $4,464.24 out of $5,000. That's 89% of the way there. We are just over $500. I know we can get there. Let's do it, Twitch chat. We can do this. Let's get there. Um, all right. So this is one of the fastest stages in the run. Don't blink. This is a great shape showcase of some of those rail mechanics we were talking about. Favorite 
time I see it, it's always <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so fast. Heck yeah, I'm so happy with the 30 there. Uh, yeah, it's so good. That's a lot of people's like first intro to ILing in this game. We see like newcomers all the time be like, wait, this stage is so cool. <laughs> also one of the most optimized IL runs. Yeah, and uh, after that banger, we have the high speeds tutorial. This is the slowest stage in the game. Uh, no, I'm lying. <laughs> uh, but this doesn't go very fast. So we're just gonna be running for a little bit. This in the... What? I'm just <laughs> the checkpoint. That was a unity moment. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we we have probably close to a minute for donos. This in the next uh, next stage, I don't think there's anything to explain. Alrighty, well, we've got plenty coming in. We've got $30 from Designator94. Hi, Des. What better run to come home to than Shovel Claws? That's my runner. Less That's than three. Runner. Let's go. Uh, we also have $25 from Wooful D. Only got into the Spark games this past fall, but I almost instantly fell in love with these games. While I can't really choose a favorite stage just because of how good all of them are, my favorite song is definitely Double Moon Villa. It's just so catchy. Thanks. So awesome to see such a great game be done at GDQ. I was so tempted to go for the loops. The loops get yeah. <laughs> we were trying. We were to cooking. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to find a strat to skip the loop, but <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, we can get one more quick one. All right, we got fifteen dollars from Mint Dealer. Currently watching at twelve a.m. I believe in you, shovel. Thumbs up. Thank you. Another spark runner there. Let's go. Um, yeah, wall jumping here is uh, pretty simple. We're just gonna use a bunch of dash jumps and we can jump off balls. Yay! Uh, one thing I guess we we'll, we can mention real fast is that a lot of the times we won't even see the goal when we hit it. Stage done. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> all right. You know, after all those refreshers on how to go fast and yeah. stuff, I honestly I feel pretty good about going back to challenge Chester. Oh, how about we say we give it another go? I think we can do it. I believe I this time. Do it. <laughs> All right. Into our next main stage. Let's go. I love this one. Uh, this opening sequence is so cool. So in the first update of the game, we could actually clip through walls in District 5 with the Reaper Jester. But after the update 1.2, we couldn't find like the glitch was fixed, so now... <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. So whatever. now we have a new skip that we're gonna see in not that long, where we're gonna clip through a ceiling. I have so low on energy, I'm not gonna have to like catch more stuff, but run up this wall. And uh, you know what? Ceiling's done. What? <laughs> That's the first time in so long I've missed that! <laughs> Oh, uh, come on, my bit was so good, too. Uh, I, I don't want to use my energy here. We're just going to go the slow way. It's okay. I haven't missed that in so long, unfortunately. This is so... <laughs> feels so slow doing that without it. I know. Uh, I have to save it, though. All right. Now ceilings don't exist and you can clap. <laughs> yeah. um, so that was called a gravity clip. And uh, they're awesome. Mimic, tell us more. I'm interested. So what... There, there's a lot about it. So the I played Rolling Rascal with the dev, and the dev showed me that you could clip through the loops by just jumping from the ceilings. And at the same time, there was Invalid that was clipping through walls with float. That clip is really annoying. If we get to the incentive, we can actually see that one. But <laughs> Ooh, I took full damage. I didn't think that would kill me. Okay, well, we're talking time for Mimic. Yay. Yay. So, Invalid was doing that trick, and I was like, Dick trick, that, <laughs> that trick is really bad. And I was like, okay, let's combine that knowledge from Rolling Rascal into Spark Tree, and it should work. <laughs> I, need, I need full energy for this next trick uh, that I'll let someone else explain because it's hard. So we're going to do a nipper, hyper dash there, get on top of the tree, and we're basically skipping an uh, auto-scroller 
that is pretty similar to uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Shout out to <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, where am I? Oh my god. That's it. Yes! Okay, I don't know where I am. I do not know how to back this up. <laughs> uh, uh, let me cook. I have an idea. Oh, we're there. You should be good from here. Wait, I... Uh-oh. I was like, no, <laughs> I didn't know this. <laughs> we're all the way back here! What the hell? Oh my god! Okay, District 5 is never... I shouldn't have swapped a challenge, Chester. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna take the auto-scroller now. Oh my god. I cannot believe how bad this stage went. <laughs> it's okay, though. It happens. A lot we haven't mentioned it yet. This game's really hard. Um, yeah, it's brutal. A lot of this, uh, the tricks... What? <laughs> Dude, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> uh, a lot of the tricks are really difficult. Oh my god, I cannot believe District 5 is treating me like this. This is like as long as the skipless route. <laughs> okay, that's whatever. Um, I'm not I'm not too concerned. There, There's plenty of cool movement in this game, so it's like missing one is is not the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, this game's really hard. Uh, so honestly, uh, the fact that only two people have ever gotten a sub-40, and it's me and Squish, uh, the world record holder we mentioned earlier, uh, is a testament to its difficulty. Um, but yeah, we can get like two donors here while we take this auto-scroller, unfortunately. You won't see this if we hit the all-stages incentive, and that's a promise. We have any donos? Real fast, one, one, one or two. <laughs> uh, dono's not found, 404. Um, <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go on to Guardian 2. Um, and okay. you know what? I think this time. Yeah, you're Surely District 5 was the worst stage in this round. Yeah, now. we can beat him this time. Surely. Okay. Let's go. Again, I was just too late on the timing. What? Uh, How, uh, this boss is so hard. No, I think you're just bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cook me like this. <laughs> age. Whatever. Whatever, man. Um, <laughs> okay. In case our incredible acting didn't, didn't give it away, that was a strat. The game doesn't care if you beat that boss or not, so we just die. Yeah. I didn't play that game in a long time, so when <laughs> Shovel did it <laughs> for the first time commentary... <laughs> <laughs> Mimic was like, why are you changing this? Uh, and I thought it was a bit, so I'm like, you know what? We're running it. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, District... I'm, I'm going way too early on the Cyber Dash. Uh, this is District uh, 6. This stage has a nine-second world record somehow. I do not know um, how I got that. Quick, back up. Let's go. Okay. I don't think anybody knows. I Seriously, it's like one of the longest standing records in the game. But thankfully, uh, this strat is pretty easy. So let's go. There, there are a few strats there. It kind of depends on how you bounce off the tree that we bounce off of, but both are pretty equally fast. And, uh, next, we're going to go to the hardest stage in the run. This stage has a skip where if I miss it, I completely restart the stage. So I'm going to go silent. Crowd, I ask you to do the same. I'm going to let someone else take the reward. All right. So this stage, Downtown Descent, is set in this very large, well, downtown of a city. And we're going to skip all of the roads and just go from the tops of the buildings. It's a very impressive run, had a lot of different routings over the, t over the year. And Shovel Claws has had many different um, impacts on this run. And I love watching it personally. I'm not good at the stage at all, but it's very impressive. And you'll see soon when we start these hyper dashes, just how quick the stage is, and you have to know exactly where to go, or else you hit death planes everywhere. So, I did hit that checkpoint. Don't be fooled. <laughs> Normally, we don't hit any of the checkpoints, which is why this is one of the hardest stages in the game, if not the hardest. Do we have a very quick moment for me to say something? Uh, yeah, go go for it. We're just dashing. We have hit that all yes. levels showcase. No. We're going to see more spark. Let's go. Thank you all so much for your generosity. Uh, I got to get back to playing. Oh, no. So, yeah, coming up on a big skip here. Good luck. I'm going to let this upcoming trick speak for itself.
Yes Oh, oh. ouais Non, 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 Don't pop off too early, but... Uh. <laughs> yeah! What? what? No! <laughs> no! I am so mad. Anyways, that is well. called shipless. Jedi, you have time to explain it now. Yeah, I'm so actually so upset about that. We hit it normally and then I missed the... Stage. Something, I don't know. That's so unfortunate. Normally at the end of the stage, we're introduced to a new vehicle in this game. We call it the ship. And it's basically like this little spaceship hovercraft thing that you can fly around and you just dodge a bunch of lasers, go through all these obstacles as the ship. But we've found this crazy strat that we call shipless, where you can do very precise platforming and energy dashes to skip that entire section on the ship because the ship is quite a lot slower than Spark. And it's super impressive and very, very difficult to hit. We almost got it perfectly, but it's a very difficult skip. That's, yeah, that's the hardest trick in the game. So getting basically it is fine. I have bad ideas. <laughs> I'm not satisfied. Uh, this time I'll probably get a check. It's fine. There is an alternative way to do this. Uh, it's fine. But what? Where am I going? OK, never mind. We're taking the ship. I, I'm, I'm sketched out now. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so, I mean, at least this gives us good bit uh, counts for future stages. But, ah, oh, dude, I'm so sad. We hit it, and then I just got robbed by the, the boss at the end game. You know what? We're going to rob him back of his screen time, too. This guy, I hate you. You're, the, you're my arch nemesis now. Bye. <laughs> I mean, honestly, <laughs> for, for <laughs> the redo of that stage, a 141 is really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, no post uh, stage boss this time, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into the next stage. Yo, residential rattle. So what we're basically gonna do is uh, one hyper dash right at the start, and we're just also avoid the combat zone like in Sonic Heroes. So there's one on the left there that we just avoid and go directly to the goal. Yeah, if we if we didn't have that exact angle, we would have been trapped in a forced combat sequence. Everyone, the combat sequences in this game are mandatory, no skipping along. Uh, so don't do that at home. Only I can do that. I have a license. <laughs> um, otherwise, roadway rally is fun. The stage dropped. Time to actually. see the car again. Yeah, we get to see the car again. Yay, driving. Just kidding. Um, so we're gonna. <laughs> So Spark actually runs faster uh, faster than the car in almost every instance. So, oh my god, I almost hit that barrier. Uh, <laughs> so we get to um, just run over to this uh, slope and very kindly uh, go up, energy dash up. You may think a gravity clip's coming up. Not so fast, partner, because uh, actually this uh, wall just doesn't have a roof. So we're just jumping over some invisible collision. I guess it's not invisible. You can see the exit e X's. But we're just gonna jump across over to the roof and hit the uh, hit the goal at the very end. And also, Spark dies there, but he hit the goal, so we're <laughs> clearly okay. Are we? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Jedi, are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and then we have Strike Sewers. Oh my God, I love this stage. It's um. <laughs> We're going to see a new skip here. We're going to also go back to the ship that we saw, unfortunately, in Downtown Descent. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could do this shipless, but it's, it's not possible. Uh, either way, we do ship full now. So yeah, we basically just squeeze the ship in that little gap, and it just kind of goes through the wall. And now we can clip out of bounds and go directly to the end. Yeah, you may think uh, Spark's fast, so we might want to get off the vehicle here, right? Uh, actually, <laughs> if you just do that uh, dash move over and over again, Spark's actually way slower. We used to do that, and then I was like, wait, why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> um, because we can't hyper dash or anything. Hyper dashing is faster than sh the ship, but Spark's just energy dash is not, unfortunately. And then this is probably the lamest stage in the run, actually. <laughs> um, 
but it's fine um, because even even the lamest stages have tech, cool tech to talk about. Yeah, in this stage we're going to get to see double down dashing as we just did there. Um, it's the same thing as down dashing, but you do it twice. And the reason for that is you gain a lot more downward momentum, and the stage is entirely going down. Which, spoiler alert, you're going to see more of. Oh, but yeah. yeah, this stage is it's all right. It's another coin collecting stage. Uh, oddly enough, it's the only stage in the game without any bits. I yep. don't know why. Fast facts with Jedi AD. Um, <laughs> anyways. You'd think more people would drop their bits down the sewer drain, but I guess not. Yeah, I... World building. <laughs> um, everyone in Sparks Land has, is, has no money. Um, you know, I didn't even mention the story of this game. So, Sparks overthrown the government. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the Fark Force has taken over, and Sparks impatient and wants his money, and, but the bank lines are too long. That's actually his, his justification. He, that's the first cutscene he skipped after double mint. Anyways, more ship. Yay! Uh, this is on the run. We just have these uh, four weak points that are glowing. Game design, am I right? Um, and then after that, we'll have Spark beat up another bad guy, Sheriff Bear Trap. Uh, Sheriff Bear, Bear Trap is a pretty unique uh, boss because he sucks. The rest of the bosses in this game are okay, but Spark. Spark? What? That? That's not Spark. That's not Spark. What the heck? That's not Spark. Uh, I'm, okay, you know what? I'm, their moveset is kind of flames. Uh, so, you know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll beat up a Bear Trap like this. Also, it's worth noting that uh, this game has like an entire combo list. I'll, I'll try to show it off real fast. Database, combat, and it, there are so many. Anyways, like I said, you can walk many more through the shop too. Oh yeah. yeah, you can buy a ton through the shop. Like I said, Evo Champion has world record for a reason. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, in case the bit wasn't obvious, by the way, uh, that's a new character. Her name's Float. I don't know what she does. I wish I was a burger. burger. I wish I was a burger. <laughs> Can I get a clap for burger? Thank you, chat. <laughs> chat? <laughs> Proud. <laughs> All right. We're going to make a quick shopping trip uh, because we're going to buy a few things, actually. One, float. She costs one bit. Might as well. Um, and also, she's actually useful. And then I almost bought Hyper Surge. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll buy uh, Overcharge and Multi Shot Blast. I'm not going to equip Multi Shot Blast because we're coming back to the shop in a minute, anyways. But uh, Multi Shot Blast just ends your momentum. And now we're going into my favorite stage, Nighttime Phenomena. The stage has amazing, amazing skips, amazing music. Shout out to Tud. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let someone else take this away while I uh, try to gain it. Okay. Right, so <laughs> the Go beginning on. of the stage has one of the one of the coolest skips as we're about to see right here. Um, we call it interior skip because normally you go in the I interior of this it. building. We're gonna do it the, the old way here since we missed the first hyper dash. Uh, by the way, flashing lights warning. I'll try to look away, but um, this is this stage has some <laughs> intentional flashing lights despite the game lying to us. Uh, but yeah, um, that flash of lights where warning will last. We're going to use float because she, you know, floats, which means that if you hold the jump button, she will fall much slower so you can get a lot more Oh, that's what she does. Just that. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll die and hit the checkbox box and just skip that entire interior section, which is probably about a minute of platforming. Unfortunate that we skip it because there's very cool, like, non-Euclidean tricks going on. There's more throughout the run, but we'll skip most of them because we know what to do with them. Shout but out to everyone. Highly recommend this stage. Kids. Yeah, shut up. Very cool when playing casually. <laughs> you find her. Oh my god. That, I, that run was amazing because we got to pet cats and I love petting cats. Also, that was a really hard uh, hyper dash. What? what? I lost all my speed, whatever. Um, but hyper dashes off enemies are really tricky. So uh, whenever we hit them, it's impressive. Just trust me. Yeah, there's collisions on them. So if you don't do it right, you just collide with the enemy. Yeah. Uh, shout out to everyone who went forward in that maze. You so you're supposed to turn around, and then yeah, if you don't, you just kind of keep going forever, forever and ever and ever. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> <We're ghastly. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, chat. I'm actually looking for a new commentator now. Uh, <laughs> um, also, six strat here. We're gonna hit the booster. That'll reset our speed. We'll gesture swipe and then energy dash. That sets our speed all the way back up. 147 is actually a very good time on that stage for uh, four of the strats we did at least. I had to back up the uh, the beginning strat interior skip, but uh, we'll never see 
an interior. Uh, we'll never see a trick similar where we throw our dead body into a checkpoint. We do throw our dead bodies into other things, but we'll see that uh, in actually on this stage. I know my I'm, I know my route. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to trust myself. Anyways, dropship daybreak here is uh, another coin collecting stage. I need to see how many bits I'm at. Okay, we're good on bits, but we're gonna restart the checkpoint. That'll set us back up here while we collect that uh, coin, and then boom, we can uh, just go on our way. We got a dropship to go to. You'll never guess why this uh, stage is called Dropship Daybreak. Um, but honestly, I think this is a great time for more donations. Oh, we've got plenty of them. You've got a lot of love here uh, from your friends, Claus. We've got $5 from Ellie Jelly. Hi from the back couch. We've also got $30.50 from Sivadra, who says, hey, from back couch, had to donate for that rail stage. You're so cool and epic, and I want to see more less than three. Uh, we can get one more quick one. Yeah, we've got $100 from All Rightness, donating again for the All Levels Incentive. This one is for all the homies in the Bomb Rush Cyberfunk Discord watching now. Hard Eyes emoji, less than three. It's okay, thank you. Um, all right. I'm gonna shut up for this stage too. Actually, this is the like serious flashing lights warning. This this part is is rough. Yeah, um, this one's a bit rough. So if you if you need to look away for about a minute to be safe, but we'll call it. So this stage is very high speed, very momentum based. Basically, it's in a sort of two lap format. If you want to think of it that way. So we go through everything's all like these white kind of buildings floating around, and we do a bunch of these gesture swipes to gain a ton of speed, and we just try to keep that speed throughout the entire stage. Uh, it's a very difficult stage, to be honest, and also one of the more optimized stages in the game, but it is very cool when done properly. And then we go no. through these tunnels, normally do a loop skip there and keep our speed, and then now we hit lap two, which is the same stage, except this time there's lava everywhere. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to Ukulele and the impossible there. So true. I love lava. The only game to have lava, famously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we can we can fit in another quick donation because missing that oops uh, skip means that unfortunately this stage doesn't go as fast as uh, as it could, but that's okay. Well, not a problem. We've got a hundred dollars here from Storied who says, Storied. "GL Shovel, you got this." Thank you. Uh, one more. Uh, one more. We got $25 from Giudon Eater, who says, Zoomies! Zoomies. Yeah, a good time on that is like a low 40, but ah, uh, that loop speed, uh, that loop skip just owned me so hard. Mm. That's okay though. I mean, like I said, this game's really rough and that's definitely one of the harder stages. So I, I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you're interested, go to speedrun.com slash spark3. Look at our ILs. They're all amazing. We don't have enough freedom idols to continue. Yeah. I feel like this route's kind of bad. Yeah, also shout outs to Freedom Planet. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so I guess we'll I guess we'll go back to some of the stages we skipped. Also, in case you're wondering, the all stages incentive is after the run. Because one, I have to down patch. And two, uh, it's actually just faster that way. You'll see why at the end. Anyways, this stage so rocks, this stage finger stage. Great. So this stage is what we call a raid stage. Uh, it's unfortunately the only raid stage, but basically the goal is to get as many points as you can. Once you hit the goal, which is 40,000 points for the one star, you can exit the stage. And we get points by destroying things, we get points by killing enemies. Um, every stage has score, but this is the only one that it actually matters. Um, it's a pretty cool stage, especially with really clean combat you can get through it super fast mm -hmm. yeah that this is my public petition to add more raid stages crowd please clap so you can sign the petition thank you <laughs> all right and then after this i need to equip multi-shot blast because i totally forgot to <laughs> but uh we're, we're about to i don't i don't want to unequip overcharge please uh, we're about to go into Beatdown Tower, which is a great time to explain some of the combat mechanics we just got uh, in uh, one of our last shop visits. First and foremost, we have Spin Charge. Spin Charge is an extra move that gives us a big spin, and, a, and it hits a very wide area of effect, very useful for these wave fight uh, uh, levels. And then we have um, the... 
overcharge ability, which is probably the biggest help in combat, in all honesty, because it's just a strict damage buff. Um, it's awesome. We used to not use this ability, but in 1.2 it got buffed, so now it's good. Um, and then... I didn't want that guy to hit me. Uh, and then we have um, Float. Actually, it helps in combat. She has a passive. You can see that red little mark on enemies uh, that we uh, are hitting. Those guys, uh, that mark will build up charges as you do, uh, do hits in a combo and will then um, will then explode and just deal a bunch of damage. And then we have Multi-Shot Blast. How did I not only... How did I only have one? <laughs> um, but Multi-Shot Blast is a big finger gun. Finger gun if it were good. Uh, but also bad because it like completely stops your uh, speed and momentum and freezes you in place unless you animation cancel it, which we don't want to do because the last hit is really good. Get that? Cool, everyone's nodding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. And now uh, we have a good about 40 seconds for donos because uh, this is just more combat. This stage is stylish, but it's, it's combat, so I need to focus. <laughs> All right, we have $10 from the Hellfridge. Uh, I'm so happy to once more see you on the GDQ stage playing one of the best Sonic games. I'm probably repeating myself when I say you're one of the kindest and coolest people I met during my short time engaging with speedrunning, and the scene is a better place for having you in it. Obviously, the donation goes towards the all-level showcase because more spark and more shovel claws means more good. Thank you, Hellfridge. We also have $94 from Sivadra. Late donation from yesterday's Strawberry Jam Death to Dollar match. <laughs> Except Talia did so well that I decided to go double. Let's see more Spark. One more. All right. We have uh, Anonymous who donated $50 and says, All levels, let's go! Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. That's all the combat stage is done. Uh, we're about to go into uh, throwback which is the hardest boss in the game. Yeah. But hopefully I can hit this hit this upcoming uh, trick. Let's go. It's just the juggling I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, there's more. It's not quite over yet, but it is pretty much over. That first one is the most important to get quick because this boss fight cycles between enemies, between the three bosses that are actually um, throwbacks to Spark 2, hence the name. Yeah. And yeah, so you I, have to get them all quickly enough to one cycle it, which is very say, difficult on that first one. It is. Uh, banger song coming up. Chat, I want to hear some lyrics, baby. <laughs> that was too quick to <laughs> hear anything. <laughs> a 50 is a really good time on that. I, that's 10 seconds off my gold, which is uh, in combat a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot. Or it doesn't sound like a lot, but in combat, that, that's a lot. Um, <laughs> that went really well. I'm happy I hit one cycle. Um, but yeah, that is a throwback. Three uh, three back-to-back -back, uh, just absolute killers of bosses, uh, including the secret fourth phase. We, we did it, though. So this is Airstrip Madness. Uh, everyone, I know we had a lot of flight trouble troubles, but please don't do what Spark is about to do. Uh, we're about to flip into uh, restricted airspace. So Spark and Gang are now on the no-fly list, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> but this is a great time to talk about uh, the wall dash. The wall dash is a big trick that you see twice. <laughs> it is one of the most... Uh, it's one of the tricks that give us the most speed for ease of uh, execution, but it requires so much space that this is this and one other place is the only places we can use them. But wall dashing is just down dashing while wall running, so it's just holding the right trigger and down dashing. Also, it's worth mentioning that this game has really messed up controls, uh, at least if you're on an Xbox controller, uh, because the power-ups we've been using, uh, like the energy dash we're about to use here after this gravity clip, are all mapped to the D-pad. So I 
literally, this is how I hold my controller most of the time. I don't know if you can see it, but my index fingers are here. All right, let's go. That was that was manipulation for the gravity clip. Pausing there. <laughs> All right, um, we're great on money pace. We're so far ahead because of uh, the District Five incident of 2024. Um, but um, yeah, I, we're about to buy one last upgrade. Cloud shot, and this is where runs go to die because these next two stages are some of the hardest in the run, and they're back to back at the very end. So this new ability, Cloud Shot, was it was introduced in 1.1 of the game, not an original ability, but um, it basically gives you an extra jump that you can also float and fall a lot slower on. But the important thing is that you gain a ton of vertical momentum when you do them, especially when you chain them in a row, which we're going to see here. This is a very difficult trick, but hopefully we can just skip all the way up to the top of this rocket. Yes. Yes. I'm so happy we hit that. Yes. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, th that is a really long escape stage. Escape stages, by the way, are like timer stages. Not a problem for us. We're, mm. we're beating the timer by like minutes typically. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's immediately followed up by suborbital, suborbital scramble. You may have noticed the bigger rocket there. I don't know what that could have been for, uh, but I mean, I don't know. This stage is pretty unoriginal, I think. Oh, we're in space. <laughs> You're telling me they used the rocket for getting into space? No. Spark, crazy. Spark can just get up there. It's fine. Yeah. Have you seen the way he's moving? All right. So I'm going to do a slower setup, but uh, OK. OK. Yep. Maybe I might not have the height. At least you should be at the bottom. No, I actually might. It's close enough to it's give close. me up. Let's go. Yo. That's another new tech that is kind of a variation on the hyper dash, where instead of using energy dash, you use a cloud shot, and you gain just a ton of height off of a magnet dash. Yeah, cloud dashes. And we're in space. Go, go on. Low gravity. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you just go really high up, and we can go all the way up to that goal. For what it's worth, cloud dashes actually give, give you a ton of height anyways. But um, yeah, cloud dashes don't get used much in any percent, because most of the stages are about going down more than going up, but that's one of the few examples. Um, but if, if you want to see Spark 2 stages, Titanic Tower is a great example of that game. Also, this game has one of the best free DLCs of all time. It added every single stage from Spark the Electric Jester 2, so now there's literally no reason to play it. Just play this game because it's so much better. So yeah, now we just grab it clip and went for, straight to the end. Let's go. This stage used to take 1 minute and 30 seconds without <laughs> it. Yeah, gravity clips were a, a godsend in this game. I don't think it'd be nearly as fun or as fast if uh, it weren't for gravity clips. All right, so we have one boss fight left. And then we have three stages left. You may be looking at that estimate. I promise it's correct. Um, this is Mecha Madness. I know we had Armored Core 6 earlier in the day. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Um, so, you know, hey, look, we, we could do that too, <laughs> surely. Uh, we just do this uh, jump kick uh, move a lot in order to kind of stun lock him a little bit. And then in his second phase, he doesn't actually stun lock, but it's okay. We just dodge his attack. Ow. Shout out to Low Graphics that turned his name into uh, literal literal wingdings. It's incomprehensible. But let's go. That was, that was actually a really clean Mecha Madness. All right. Also, shout out to the portrait in the top left. You can see Spark, like jiggle around the <laughs> mech controls. It's awesome. It's so funny. All right. Um, hold, I just, how'd this guy get here? What, do you, what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who that guy is. Uh, don't worry about story stuff. Go, this game has a really strange story, but it's honestly really good. Go play yeah. the series if you're interested, but we're not skipping it. We're gonna be skipping it all, so, oops. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's actually a lot more to it than Spark overthrows a government. Oh, that's a ch that's a tutorial. Yeah. I said we had three stages left. Is this included? Yeah. What? Huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, fall damage. Look, I said this game was good. Fall damage is a controversial uh, mechanic. You can cancel fall damage by jumping. 
uh, by dashing in the air, by charging up that dash, uh, spin dash style, and by landing on slopes. You can also cancel it by cloud dashing, because, I mean, it sends you up. Uh, the longer you fall, the longer you, uh, you run down that meter. If that meter runs out, you die. That's one of the three stages. It took less than 30 seconds. Yeah. Are you sure that estimate's okay? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, man. <laughs> this is Deep Descent. Um, you may notice by the loading time. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Um, oh. <laughs> guys, I have bad news. <laughs> So you might have guessed from the name, but what we're going to do is descend down a very deep hole. Um, this stage is very cool when played casually. It's an extremely long stage that normally you have to go through all of these platforms and roads and such, and it's very cool but very hard. But um, using these fall damage canceling techniques, we can actually just kind of fall and do exactly what fall damage was intended to prevent you from. But uh, the stage is pretty impressive and takes a lot of very precise fall damage cancels so that you actually can make these very large gaps. And we're going to use float a lot because the fall damage timer goes down slower with her. I am going to grab this checkpoint just for safety, uh, just in case. Because if you die before we hit a future checkpoint that you'll see, you uh, actually go all the way back to the beginning of the stage. And I mean, the District 5 incident of 2024 uh, kind of threw a wrench into my plans uh, with that estimate. But we should be okay. If it, my estimate is 15 minutes generous, actually, because I just grinded this game that hard. Uh, also, hopefully we hit the wall run here. Yes! Yeah, uh, that's barely faster, but I love hitting it because it's a pretty precise stick angle. And it's also way safer. We should be okay here in just a second. I'm going to attack this enemy, and then I'm going to hit down here. We have to dodge the enemy attacks, because if we don't, they can hit you in mid-air, and you just are owned. You have to like, just fall forever and ever and ever and ever, and you die eventually. Um, but we're coming up to my favorite part of this strat. Goodbye forever. So you are thinking, surely we can't make this huge drop without dying to fall damage. So let's just, let's just hope that lake, for some reason, put an invisible ceiling somewhere that we can you know? Just That'd be convenient. Yeah, shoutouts to 21 pilots. God, that's such a nerd joke. <laughs> um, oh, hey, how convenient. An invisible ceiling. I'm also, not really sure why there's an invisible ceiling there, but we'll take it. We don't know. Uh, also, Banger Song in this stage, uh, it's probably one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. Again, this game's entire soundtrack is just absolutely killer. It's one of the best soundtracks in gaming, in my opinion. And that's crazy, because my favorite soundtrack of all time is Spark 1. <laughs> um, so, like, go, go, go buy it. Anyways, yeah, we're, we're in the clear now, these rails, unless, unless somehow my controller misinputs my X button to jump, uh, we're okay now. Um, <laughs> The, the ghost of GDQ is gonna click my jump button. <laughs> We're all I make I make myself laugh too much. <laughs> okay, and that's one of the two stages we have left. That was three minutes. Are you sure that it's okay, man? I'm, yeah, I'm concerned. Look, I'll trust you, but you're the line's getting thin. You're on thin ice. Yeah. Are right. you gonna change the difficulty? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you take me for. Uh, this area has a life system. We should be okay at 16, and I shouldn't die at all. But we'll see. Oh, I see why you made that joke now. Okay. Uh, so this time we actually have to beat this guy, unfortunately. Uh, but now we have overcharge. So, I mean, obviously it's going to be easy, right? Okay, honestly, that's a good fight. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, trans rights. Um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of trans wrongs as well, so. Uh, <laughs> this is Utopia Shelter. This is my favorite stage in all of gaming, and 
I'm gonna hope that I can commentate it just as well I can, as I can play it. Yeah, all the shelter <laughs> stages are the best ones. Utopia shelter, a shelter, a shelter. <laughs> this is a nerd. Uh, <laughs> everyone, welcome Mimic to the couch again. <laughs> uh, all right, so this stage is really complicated. Uh, it's a super long trek. It's breaking, breaking, breaking to uh, broke. Dude, I can't speak. <laughs> Sad. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hit the checkpoint though. Actually, it's so fine. Or so bad. Um, this stage is broken into uh, multiple segments. First, we have the city segment here. This is a lot of very fast platforming because, uh, oh my god, hyper dashes are fast. Breaking news. Uh, but this stage used to be very different. Thank you. <laughs> This stage used to be very different. Um, what we used to do is something called the Infinite Fall. I know a bunch of casual watchers are not fans of that strat. Uh, so, um, the Infinite Fall was patched out in... I don't have my dash? It's fine. Flow saves us. <laughs> We're so bad. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, we had, used to have Infinite Falling uh, with the Hyper Surge ability and you know what? I'm going to let Jedi explain this while I actually focus, because, <laughs> oh my god. Right, so, prior to 1.2, the current patch of the game, with this got patched out, you could use the Hyper Surge ability, which is basically this giant explosion intended for combat that uses all four bars of energy. But you can cancel that right before it pops, and at the time, the ability also canceled your fall damage, and when you cancel it, you get all of your energy back. So, we were able to just kind of infinitely fall by using the ability and canceling it and using it and canceling it. It was really slow, but it enabled us to skip this entire stage, because the end of it happens to be roughly right below the very beginning. So all you have to do is clip out of bounds and infinite fall the way down. But it took a long enough that we figured out that doing the stage itself normally can actually be faster, and that's why we now run up 1.2 instead of 1.1. Shout yeah. out to Squish for just going at it and trying to make 1.2 faster. Yeah, so remember that world record I held her I was talking about? No, I got lamped. Are you kidding? I haven't had that happen in so long. Um, anyways, shout out to Squish, the world record holder. Uh, we were on 1.1 for a long time because a lot of us thought Infinite Falling was the holy grail. Not only did it make Deep Descent like really yeah, really straightforward, honestly. It was risky, but it was straightforward enough to be, you know, decent, decently fast. And also made this stage pretty broken. We used to go out of bounds and do all sorts of infinite falling, and it was fun. Squish didn't want to play on 1.1 for whatever reason, because it was the, the not the latest version at the time. And then, um, yeah, I mean, the, the amount of work Squish has put in is just absolutely wild. Uh, in this game. A lot of the routes you've seen today are mostly his creation with some help from the community, of course. This game has a small and tightly knit community. If you've seen this at all and are interested in running, please reach out to me on Twitter. Go to speedrun.com slash spark3. We absolutely love this game. It is really, really hard, like I said, uh, a few times throughout this game, uh, throughout this run, rather, but it's so worth it because this game gives you a, a control over your speed insurmountable by others. It, like I said, 3D Celeste, I think it's better than Celeste Hot Take. This is the best speedrunning game of all time. Uh, but um, I want to I wanna do the skip. Uh, I'm going to let it speak for itself and I'm going to let Joker speak for some donations. Well, I can absolutely do that while you focus up on this level. We've got $5 from It's Bites. I buy it. So glad to be able to catch this run live. Shovel Claws is the one who introduced me to Spark, and watching it run this game never fails to impress me every single time. Hard eyes emoji. Hard eyes emoji. Thank you. We have $50 from Haxi. Watching this from the back couch. Awesome movement from Shovel Claws. I can't wait for it to show off the all level showcase. Heck yeah. We have another $50 from Mike, who says, a great run to watch with my young Sonic fan on a snow day. <laughs> Keep it up. Heck yeah, I love that. Okay, we're gonna have a short skip here. We're gonna use an energy dash over on to this part. I'm kind of low on energy, but I'm gonna make it work. It's fine. Um, it shouldn't be anything too bad. 
Uh, so you may have noticed we're going through these weird areas. Those are called white space. They are short platforming challenges that just test your ability. Uh, there's a bunch of story context to these. Don't worry about it. Um, so we just have to get through them. Uh, I don't know who put Near Autonoma in this game. I do, well, I do know, actually. It was Lake Feppard. God. Uh, he, is, he is the one and only dev for this game, really. He got, had a lot of help, of course, as game devs typically do, but... He put in so much work. I want to. I want to get a round of applause for Lake Feppard for making such an amazing game. Um, he's a, he's kind of stubborn at times, but it's okay because we just we love this game so much. Everyone here in the Spark community. Um, so thank you so much for this amazing game for the best and my favorite game of all time, the best speedrun of all time. I everything about it is just awesome. Uh, I'm gonna hope I get the speed from this energy dash. That part of course I didn't. Okay, well, while I'm climbing up here, typically what we do is we have a lot more height there or because we get a lot more speed so we can skip this platforming. But while I'm uh, getting here, we can get another donation or two. We'll go to. All right. How about $25 from Verxel? Great run, <laughs> Shovel. Hyped I woke up in time to catch it. It's been great seeing your progress as you grind that time down. Uh, one more. All right. $5 from Bloom. Let's go, Shovel Claws. It's been a real treat watching you and other runners push this game further and further, and I'm so happy to finally see it on the big stage. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Um, so we, we have this last rail section. There's a ton of really cool style, flashy skips you can do here. I'm only going to go for one because it saves enough time to be worth it. Uh, and isn't that hard? I'll hope. Uh, I had missed it a few times in the practice room, but don't tell anyone that. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Ah, that's so unlucky. You can jump off that rail and carry your speed really well into the, uh, the next section, but that's okay because we'll just uh, charge Jester Dash and do a bunch of wall dashes again. What's happening to the game? I don't know. Um, I wonder if that's like a memory leak. Okay, I can't. I can't take this bit too far. Tech team will get mad at me. This is this is a bit. Don't worry. Uh, computer's fine. I promise. Um, Again, story context that we won't explain in this one. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, we have time for another donation. I'm going to try to hit a wall run down a big cylinder. That saves barely any time, but if we hit it, that's like... Uh, but, yeah, we, we're coming up to the end of the run. This is about... <laughs> this is honestly a pretty average utopia. Unfortunately, we made a bunch of mistakes at the beginning. No wall run either, but, I mean, totally fine. Again, I think this stage is amazing. Go watch the IL run for the world record for this stage in particular. It's my favorite speed run of all time, and it's like six minutes long. Anyways, Joker, hit us with more donations. I can do that. We got $5 from Sin Dark Fates. Hi, Sin. How do y'all sit in here? And all I have to say are three things. Hi, Shovel Claws, Binky, and heart eyes emoji. Heart eyes emoji. Thank you. Uh, one more? Uh, one quick one. All right. $50, 50 from Fella. Spark 3 was my favorite game from 2022. Very excited to see it be run through very quickly. Heck yeah. So we're going to fall into the red here for a little bit. Uh, we just have to land in these little rings and they'll stop our fall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. And now we're in... <laughs> Is he okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Somebody... Oh. I was asking if you were okay. Come on. <laughs> After all those jokes, I can't. Also, slam dunk? Ah, uh, I'm okay. No ballers. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the Utopia Shelter. Uh... I love that stage to death. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, how that went. There are a few cool skips I hit. A few that I got totally robbed from because energy dash didn't work, unity moment, but that's okay. Um, and now we're gonna come into the final two bosses. This is where time will be for any percent soon. Uh, and then after any percent, we'll transition uh, to a break and then uh, go before, back for all stages. But yeah, this is the line work fight. Oh my God, this is such a pretty environment. Uh, big shout outs. Um, it's just amazing. This is Linework Beast, and then we'll have Linework Reaper, and then we'll fight a special third, a, a secret third option. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we're playing as Fark now, by the way. Again, story reference. What? Don't boo him. He's the better yellow one. Um, <laughs> come on. We love Fark. <laughs> we love Fark. We love Fark. Uh, Linework Reaper is easy, and mostly because we have a 1.9x multiplier. Um, and then we're going to activate static mode, which is a 
boost to our attack power for Linework Spark here. Oh my god, what happened to you, bro? I'll, I'll save you. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, we can fit one more quick dono as I finish up this fight. All right, we here. Let's see. We've got $100 from Anne Easy. First time ever catching AGDQ live and thus donating. Thanks to all the runners and crew, it's been a blast watching. Greetings from Europe. Heck yeah. Um, all right. So we're going into the final boss. Time will be when the screen fades to black after the last hit. Spark wants his job back. No. <laughs> and Burger. Oh my burger. god. Burger. I wish that was a burger. The burger is back. And this is Claritus. Why are you like this? Uh, <laughs> Claritus is going to be a pretty simple boss for all it's worth. Um, we're going to stall her in the air some with the, uh, Safarx's new movement. Um, he, this is a brand new character. It's a fusion of Spark and Fark. And last hit. Oh, come on. Okay, let's go. Time is coming up when the screen fades to black. Player this is down. Again, bunch of story context here. Don't worry about it too much. So, in three, two, two one, one. Time. time. Uh, you guys don't get to see the story spoilers. You do, unfortunately, get to see this. Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> yeah, this is the credit sequence for this game. It's really funny. Uh, this is actually playable. The Games Committee, you, you missed out. I, I submitted this as an incentive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching any percent. Uh, I think we're just going to cut to a quick break for the all stages part of this run. Again, some amazing tech that you won't get to see otherwise. So definitely stick around. We'll make it quick. Promise. <laughs> 